Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Duchess Meghan Markle and the bullying reports that the royal family is said to have buried. It's been announced that the royal family will not publish the reports into the allegation of bullying against Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle always denied that she harassed her staff and she said that it was a smear campaign from royal family after she gave the interview to Oprah regarding what happened in the royal family, her experience there and the racism towards her and her child. Now we hear that it's not going to be published and first of all it is said that it wasn't an inquiry into whether Meghan Markle had harassed someone or, or staff or not, but rather an investigation of how procedures, HR procedure, could, could be bettered or changed. And because the, they didn't use the sovereign grant to pay for the investigation, you remember they hired a, a third-party firm, law firm, to do the investigating or investigation. So because of that, they can keep it quite private. Now people are saying that, oh, they're keeping it private because they don't want to annoy or upset Harry and Meghan because they're afraid of what Harry and Meghan would say if they did so. To that I say, bull. Harry and Meghan were never the concern of the royal family when it comes to protecting them. If they had protected them the way people say that they were or they had, the situation wouldn't be like how it is right now. So I think that third-party firm has realized that there was nothing in those allegations. And also, they talk about multiple people being bullied by Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle was uh, living in the royal family at the castle or residences for like 18 months, which is not a lot. And during those 18 months, he only had two PAs and one other personal assistant or whatever. So it's not many people, it's only three people. And the fact that they resigned, the three people resigned, is not an indication that she's bullying them. Maybe they were not adequate for the position and for the demands that Meghan Markle had, having worked in uh, Hollywood and uh, in America, and there, the way you do, they do things to complete the difference. In any case, now they're saying that, oh yes, the royal family has to publish that, they shouldn't be protecting the, the Sussexes. It's funny that everybody thinks that Meghan Markle is at fault here. They never ever thought that maybe maybe she wasn't at fault here. Maybe there was nothing there to begin with and that Jason Knopf put through a complaint just to smear Megan, allegedly. And also there's report that uh, the person who was at the center of the complaint, her name is Toupti Tup or Eliza Toupti, the French girl, was not a PA when she worked for Harry and Meghan, or what didn't have experience as working as a PA when she worked for Harry and Meghan. She came from work as a babysitter. Apparently, she was a babysitter to uh, different singers and different big families. And because she knew Jason Knopf, allegedly, he made her, I mean, in the royal family. Maybe she didn't feel adequate. Maybe she didn't feel, she didn't feel that she had the right skills for the job. She was overwhelmed. She cried and decided to resign. So there are so many other other explanation behind that. Anyhow, it is becoming exhausting and boring now. There are so many articles written about that. They forgot that Prince William, Prince uh, William and Prince Andrew are said to have shouted at staff to the point that some staff were uh, were uh, allegedly were afraid of, of saying anything or doing any, something. Anyway, let me know what you think. Hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.